It's hard to capture 3DS gameplay sometimes. I mean, there's many ways. Like, for instance, holding up the camera and then playing and so on, pretty much. Or you can use the phone stand and your 3DS here. Just zoom out. And yep, now, you, now you're playing on the 3DS, huh? Can't you see? But what if you want to take it to advance to something, let's just say, like this? Yep, actual gameplay from the 3DS. Like, see? Well, do not worry. I got you covered, because I'm going to show you how to play 3DS games via remote play for PC. And yes, that's actually me playing. That was like recorded, I don't know, like eight days ago. But that's not important. Let's get to it. The requirements of this video is to have a 3DS that is homebrewed. What else you would need is a computer that's Windows 10 or up. I don't know if this works for older models. This can also be worked with a Chromebook. I mean, not a Chromebook, a MacBook. They don't have a Chromebook support yet. And my Chromebook's in my bag, so I can't really show it. But yeah, they don't have anything for Chromebook yet. First, you need to go on your computer or laptop and then search up Snickerstream. Press enter go to releases you can you but don't worry the link will be in my in my description then just pick just pick either Snickers stream version 10 64 or 86 zip wouldn't really matter to be honest they both work the same open a new tab then search boot and tr 3ds go to the github page and then, as you can see here, you want to pick the latest version. You can pick basically any one of them. Do not pick the source code. But still, you can pick any one of them. You wouldn't really care. They all work the same, just with different banners. It's like both, like a rocket and just another rocket. And yeah, so yeah. Just get the CIA file. Then get your 3DS SD card. Make sure you put it in your computer. Then move the boot NTR selector CIA file to the to your folder that says CIAs. The 3DS part is done. So all you just need to do is just take your SD card out and then put it in your 3DS. Then you want to go to FBI. Then you want to go to SD. Then go to CIAs. It's not going to show for me because I already downloaded it. But if it says uh, if it says boot NTR, just click Install or install and delete, and pretty much it'll be installed onto the menu. Then you should have either one of the apps saying, well, having this or this, any one of them is fine, pretty much, but do not open them yet. What you'll want to do now is open the Rosalina menu. If you do not know how to do that, you have to press l down and select at the same time like this then go to debugger options enable debugger it might change over time so yeah then just write that down somewhere or copy and paste it after doing that disable the debugger because we won't be needing it anymore just press b and exit So you know those numbers that we had to write down or copy and paste it somewhere. 
we want to put it in the IP, make sure it's correct and the same, then make sure the streaming app is set to, let me clean my camera, hold on. Oh dear. Anyways, make sure your thing says EdTR Custom Firmware CFW. Make sure it has nearest neighbor on. I don't know what the other ones do. Just put nearest neighbor. And just set how you want, like either vertical, horizontal, top screen, bottom screen only, separate windows. Just gonna do vertical. And then, pretty much, yeah. Then. You'll wanna go on any of the apps that you chose. So I'm just gonna pick NTRCW. They all work the same. Okay, why isn't this thing configuring it? Oh, I need a new Starless. Anyways, just wait. If it has the different numbers, just pick the latest version. Like 3.6 is the latest, I think. So after it says that, just press home, or if it already exits you, exit i mean if you already exit you then just wait and close this off then you want to go oops then you want to go to your computer and then press connect and if you see this if you see that happening don't freak out that means that's connecting and then after that yep see it, it it's actually real but disclaimer well actually many disclaimers first off you cannot record nintendo ds you cannot record nintendo ds gameplay the other disclaimer is the screen recorder only works i mean only focuses on one screen so if you have your screen priority on the top screen is going to work Perfectly fine. So basically, let's like do Pokemon Rumble Blast, for example. Yep, see how it's spinning on good frame rate? That will not be on good frame rate because it only focuses on one screen and this is not the priority screen, but you can always change it in the settings. And if you're playing a game like Pokemon Sun, Omega Ruby, or Pokemon Ra Y, make sure to click the NTR patch and then do so. And hey, obviously, you also need to have OBS Studio, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So, you'll want to make a scene called 3DS, and then you press the plus icon, window capture, okay. It should automatically detect Snicker Stream if you not already have it. Okay, and just fix it up a little bit, like this. And yep. Oh, and and also, Snicker Stream cannot record audio. So what I re recommend is either get like a AUX headphone jack cable, connect it like this. Or to your, to your PC or laptop, and do some of that fancy settings to make it work. Or just let the audio thingy play on the microphone. Like you hear the 3DS audio, correct? Yeah. So basically, and yep, you're you're basically you're basically good to go. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that greatness. Anyways, I'm out. Peace. Oh, wait, I need this hand to stop recording. Wait a second, I can use the headphones, Eric. Why am I always doing everything extra on a video? Ah!